Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett's new weekly comics in my hands is one of those releases. It's Dawn of X Volume 3. Uh, so Marvel's doing something a little bit different with uh, their Dawn of X comics. They're putting out uh, collections of the issues based off of their numbers. So as opposed to getting like New Mutants number one through six, which they'll also be doing, uh, you can go and get all the series uh, at the same point in their release, which is actually really smart and really interesting since uh, the comics are fairly intertwined in some way. Uh, so this includes uh, X-Men, Marauders, Excalibur, New Mutants, X-Force, and Fallen Angels, all the third issues, uh, from writers Jonathan Hickman, Jerry Duggan, Teeny Howard, Ed Brisson, Benjamin Percy, and Brian Edward Hill, arts Lionel Francis Yu, Jerry Alaguendo, Al Al uh Michelle Bandini, Elisabetta, uh, Elisabetta D'Amico, Marcus To Flaviano, Joshua Casara, and Simon Kadransky, Color of Sunny Go, Federico Blee, Eric Arcianega, Carlos Lopez, Guru EFX, Frank Diarmada, Clayton Cowell, Corey Petit, Travis Lanham, Joe Caramanga, and Joe Sabino are the letterers. Um... All right, so as a whole, I've been kind of a little mixed on on the whole Dawn of X. I think uh, individual series have been really solid. Uh, the direction as a whole, I have some issues with, uh, especially some of the depictions of characters and the general philosophy of the X-Men that they've taken. Um, I think overall they've kind of lost their um, good guy stance uh, at a minimum are in kind of a gray area as far as the good guys, and I actually think they are more villains now than anything, but that's a whole discussion for another time. Um, let's get to the individual issues themselves, though. So uh, this is kind of all over the place. I think we're really starting to see some divergence of the issues and the series and the quality of them. Um, the thing that I think is really solid about uh, the, the line of X-Men, and I really give a lot of credit, is that there is a series for everyone. Uh, X-Men is a very traditional X-Men comic. X-Force is very traditional, kind of mature uh, X-Men comic. Then you've got something like Excalibur, which uh, has a fantasy uh, vibe to it, uh, like very swords and sorcery. Uh, New Mutants have generally been sci-fi, though this takes a, a slight change to that. Uh, then you've got uh, uh, Marauders, which is kind of more um, political intrigue, I guess would it be like, uh, yeah, I guess political intrigue and, and, um, as opposed to action. And then finally you got Fallen Angels, which is kind of more towards the solo vibe that we've gotten, even though there's three main characters. Uh, the quality of the comics are kind of all over as, uh, as far as story and art. Uh, the main X-Men story introduces new villains who are kind of geriatric women who want the flowers. Um, I know the issue had a lot of, uh, um, detractors online. I thought it was okay. There was some some uh, humor to it, but it really felt like someone watched uh, was doing fanfic Golden Girls. Um, the Marauder story uh, involves the return of Shinobi Shaw uh, and a lot of jockeying as far as positions in the Hellfire Club, which I think is, is really solid, and uh, Marauders is probably the one of the more solid comics out there, though I think kind of a non-traditional X-Men story. Um, then you've got Excalibur, which is straight up swords and sorceries, dragons and magic and, and knights and all that. Um, and if you enjoy that style, um, you'll you'll dig that. Um, then you've got uh, I'm trying to go through them all. New Mutants. Um, it was I think the weakest of the series story-wise. Uh, we've shifted from the the, the sci-fi story, which I think is a mistake, and instead focusing on some of the more newer mutants, uh, Beacon Angel, uh, as a couple uh, individuals go to find them and bring them to Krakoa. Um, the end of the comic winds up in kind of stereotyped uh, uh, territory, and the main story itself is a little predictable. We've seen it a million times, and is a little kind of blah overall. Um, and then you got X-Force, which is just a follow-up of the whole attack. Um, Wolverine and, and um, Quentin Quires getting Domino back to safety. We have return of, of Professor X, which we all knew it was going to happen. Anyone that feigned, uh, oh my god, it's not going to happen, is whatever. Uh, it's kind of the point of a, a whole shift in the X-Men. And then you got Fallen Angels, uh, which picks up last issue where they're fighting the robot and they're getting a better idea as to uh, what Apoth is. And, and um, overall, I think that series is dragging. Um, the quality of the art, I think, is all over as well. Uh, some of it is, is excellent. I think X-Men's really great. X-Force has a really interesting style to it. Um, New Mutants, this issue kind of falls. Uh, interesting Fallen Angels, I think, was the weakest of the art. There's some, there some, has been some great art, and there is some great art in this issue, and then there's just some things where it's really, really off. Um, I'm going to try to find the one panel. Yeah, like, 
That does not look like Psylocke. That is jacked up weird baby doll head. Um, but then you get some like really cool art. Let me find some like, I think this, this is like really cool design and art. I, I dig that. Uh, so as I said, it's, it's all over as far as quality. Um, you know, if you want to pick up the X-Men and be reading Dawn of X, this is one of the best ways to go about it. Obviously, it's the third volume. The first two volumes are already out. Uh, this is a great way to catch up and, and keep track of the series and read them uh, as they're released and since they're all kind of intertwined in a in general way. Um, overall, like, if you dig the X-Men, you want the X-Men, I think this is a great way of getting it. I, myself, am, am very... Uh, all over in my thoughts of the X-Men. Some, some of it's really good, some of it's not so much. Um, and I have some general issues, as I described before, but whatever. It's out in comic shops now. You can go get it. Uh, this is one definitely for those who uh, want an easy package way to get all the X-Men comics and you're not buying them individually. Uh, it's out next, uh, in, in shops now. We've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code to tell the shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have affiliate links. There are affiliate links. So we get a small percentage of that. By doing that, you help support our site. So thank you so much. And uh, really should go support your comic shop. But speaking of support, I want to thank Marvel for us up with the review copy. We appreciate it. And thank you for watching. Now, if you're into the X-Men, if you're into Marvel, if you're into comics in general, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all that graphic policy, keeping it nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.